Hello everyone, and welcome back to another GC Online Guide! Have you ever wanted to go sledging down the side of Mount Chiliad in a submarine? No? Well, it's pretty awesome! Um, until that happens, but to do that you've got to get a submarine up the top somehow. With the use of a cargo bob, of course. So here we are, a brief guide to piloting cargo bobs. A lot of you will know that I already made a video on cargo bobs, but that video was more on the differences between the two cargo bobs, the standard and the jet sam, which there was none, except for the two different nose designs, as well as a few other aspects of cargo bobs. But this video is going to be more focused on actually piloting the things. Because I noticed when playing free play sessions that when watching people attempt to pick something up with the cargo bob, they seem to be having a hard time keeping the thing under control when it comes to the delicate act of picking something up. Well, here's a few pointers to help you get the most out of your cargo bob. Firstly, the thing is very heavy, and as such, the handling of the cargo bob matches that. So it's not very fast, and it's not a very agile helicopter either. However, the cargo bob is one tough helicopter, as demonstrated in my previous video about cargo bobs, and is more than capable of taking a few dents from obstacles that may be in your way when trying to pick something up. Speaking of picking something up, first of all, to deploy the hook to pick stuff up, the default control for that is right on the D-pad. The idea is to slide the hook along the top of the roof of whatever you wanted to pick up. All I can really say is it takes practice to get used to the weight and the feel of the cargo bob when controlling the cargo bob to pick something up. What you want to try and do is avoid using big inputs on the throttle and the stick. Instead, try minor adjustments and use the mass of the vehicle to move itself in the direction you intend to go. Imagine the cargo bob completely still, then apply a small tap to the thumbstick in one direction, the cargo bob will want to drift in said direction, and to stop it from drifting in that direction, apply a small tap on the thumbstick in the opposite direction and stop it drifting. You catch my drift? We interrupt this program to bring you right into the action at the heart of the Pyre Realms patented sport event. Cargo Bob Battle! Here we are, a whole bunch of rival cargo bobs come together to see who will be the last flying! And we're about to start. Three, two, one, fight! And we have our winner! Everyone make sure to celebrate his victory by lighting him up with a bunch of homing missiles. Oh yeah! As I say, it's all about practice and avoiding excessive inputs to the control of the aircraft. So get some practice picking up some parked cars, then move on to moving cars, and then try picking up some other stuff. Once you have something picked up, you need to consider what it is you're actually carrying. If it's something like a car, the cargo bob won't have much of a difference to its performance, but obviously if you pick something up like a truck or an insurgent, then the performance of the cargo bob is going to be rather questionable. And if you're wanting to fly around and over obstacles when carrying said objects, you need to make sure that you have enough space to make the manoeuvre and allow the cargo bob to lift up the heavy vehicle up and over the said obstacle. Once you've mastered land vehicles, you can then move on to sea vehicles, most notably the submarine. Now this thing can be a rather dangerous thing to pick up, because despite the cargo bob having these massive pontoon things on its side, the cargo bulb will practically suck itself into the water if you get as much as a drop of water on the underside of the aircraft. 
So again, very fine controls and avoid using excessive force to overcorrect maneuvers or you'll just end up in the sea. And all of your pilot mates will be laughing at you at the dinner table. On the most part, piloting a cargo bob is all about getting a feel for the weight of the aircraft, with and without load, and quickly adapting to situations that may arise as you go about your merry way. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyrome Gaming channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you around!